What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. SCAK Steven and is Pokemon Go gonna suffer the same fate as Harry Potter Wizards Unite? Yes and no. Let's find out why. So guys, last week, or it was actually this week, I believe, it was at the start of the week, um, Niantic announced that they will be cancelling and pulling off, or pulling the plug on Harry Potter Wiz Wizards Unite, which is an, a similar game to Pokemon Go, the game that I play and love, and that probably the most of you guys are also going to be loving and playing because you're watching this video, potentially. Now, I just had a look into that, and I just wanted to dig a little deeper into what the reasonings were behind the cancellation. Obviously, when a game doesn't perform well, it gets cancelled, or they just slack off on it, or they just stop updating it in general, and they just let the game exist. But Niantic have chosen to actually cancel the game. It will be pulled off the app stores and the Google stores and whatnot, in December, so that is only a month away, and from the end of January, I believe, the game will, uh, I think, stop getting updated, and I'm, I think you're just, in general, not going to be able to play the game. I think they're just going to pull the plug completely on the game, and you're not going to be able to even play the game. I think that the game will just not work anymore, so with that news, I was kind of saddened a little bit because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Coincidental, I'm wearing a shirt that is not for, for the purpose of this video, that's purely coincidental, but I'm a big Harry Potter fan, not gonna lie. And when the game dropped, or was announced, I was pretty excited about it, I'm a big Pokemon Go player, so I would thought like, okay, think Pokemon Go and then slap Harry Potter on that, that is going to be absolutely amazing, and I wanted to get myself into that. So I'm going to go over some notes that I made about like statistics that I found out. It's actually really difficult to find numbers on Harry Potter Wizard tonight. Probably because it's a pretty relatively small game compared to Pokemon Go. Like there's just not that much interest and that eventually resulted into the game getting cancelled. So what do we have here? It was released on June 21st on the tw in 2019, and it's going to be closing in January 2022. So that's a lifespan of about two and a half years, I would say. So that's a decent amount of time, but also at the same time, it's not a long time at all, because I didn't really feel like it was out for that long when I was researching this, but I haven't played the game since, like, launch, like... After launch, I played it a little bit, I tested it out, I really actually tried to get into the game, like, I really want this to be a success for me as well, but I think, like, at, within within the first month, I think I was out, I think I was out, I just didn't have that feeling to me, like, it didn't entice me, it didn't pull me in, and eventually I just stopped playing and lost interest, it was a lot to take in, and it just wasn't what I was expecting. Like, Pokemon Go just grasped me, and can continue to grasp me, and that is what I was actually missing with Harry Potter. I don't know the reasoning behind it, but it's not just me, because a lot of players apparently had that feeling, hence why the game didn't perform like it should have been. I found out... And I'm not sure how accurate these numbers are. All these numbers that I've researched and I've written down, like... I'm not fully 100% sure that they are accurate, but I'm just going to go with it because these are the numbers that I could find online. Harry Potter Wizard Tonight apparently had 20 million downloads. 20 million downloads. Let me put that in perspective for you guys. Pokemon Go went over 1 billion downloads this year. 1 billion versus 20 million. That is a written that is written on the wall why this game gets cancelled. I think that's pretty obvious. Like 20 million is not a lot. And you have to consider like people like me, myself. I downloaded the game, tested it out. I was pretty hyped about it. Tested it out. Couple days. Didn't spend any money, obviously. I wasn't gonna spend any money on the game like first day. And eventually 
it tailed off and I stopped playing the game. That's one download, and that's probably like where 99% of the players went. They downloaded the game, they tested it, they gave it a shot, and they didn't like it, and they left. So 20 million downloads, that's nothing if you're looking at the grand scheme of Niantic's Pokemon Go game, for example. I've looked a little bit into Ingress, and Ingress apparently has been launched in 2012, so it's been around for a very long time. And it had similar downloads to Wizard Tonight, is what I could find. Like, it, I, I couldn't find a lot of numbers on both Ingress and Harry Potter, but I saw a number around 20 million downloads for Ingress as well. So I'm not sure why Ingress continues to get support and survive. Maybe it's just not as cost effective. Harry Potter is obviously a big franchise. Maybe they need to pay a lot to, to like, use the franchise. I'm not sure what that is specifically causing that but ingress is still running it's still up and running it still gets updated it still has service so i'm not sure why that game continues to uh, perform and harry potter got cancelled so i'm not going to go into too many specifics there but that is just the reality ingress is continuing to run has been running for a lot longer than harry potter or pokemon go maybe it's because it's a relatively fresh game for niantic like that was I think their first game that they released. So maybe I think they're hesitant on pulling the plug on that. But regardless, we're going to get in some numbers for Pokemon Go that I've written down. So you might think like Pokemon Go might eventually end up and in the same place as Harry Potter. And that might actually be a reality. But that reality is so far away from us right now, guys. Um, I was When I saw this news, I was like, ooh, this is kind of bad kind of bad because on one hand i was like oh my god harry potter is getting cancelled like harry potter is huge guys harry potter is huge it's a huge franchise and you just don't cancel a game like that i would i would think and then i looked at the numbers for harry potter the downloads did i wrote this did i write this down yeah okay so another number i wanted to throw at you guys is the revenue that harry potter has accumulated in its two and a half year lifespan almost 40 million dollars 40 million dollars in its entire lifespan again let me put that in perspective in the year 2020 so last year, the full year, the revenue for Pokemon Go went over $1 billion as well. So not only are they outthrumping it with downloads over the lifespan of Pogo with over $1 billion, last year alone, Pokemon Go made a revenue of over $1 billion. So when you look at those numbers, it becomes very, very clear why Harry Potter got cancelled. But regardless, in 2017, like 2016 was the release of Pogo, we had this big hype and then the game crashed and everybody just lost interest basically. And then 2017 is like where the is like the year where the game slowly started to rise up again. Like not to the numbers of the release, but it slowly started building to where we are right now. Year after year, it continued to build. Like the revenue in 2017 was recorded at 575 million and as i just said it continued to rise every year and in 2020 they recorded a record 1 billion dollars pokemon go is also the game that broke almost every record for mobile games and downloads uh, revenue they broke a lot not only for mobile by the way for just in general a game like pokemon go is up there guys it's unreal so since 2017 the revenue has gone up but not only the revenue has gone up, the downloads have continued to go up since 2017. The users have continued to rise since 2017. The revenue obviously has continued to rise since 2017. So we had the crash after the release in 2016. And then 2017 was actually the year where Pokemon Go slowly started building their way to the top. So they've been maintaining like steady numbers rising rising steady numbers like consistently rising year after year and i was like in the past summer like this year has been a very controversial year as well like during the summer we had 
a little bit of controversy with the rules uh, or with the updates surrounding the pandemic that they were potentially going to pull in some uh, features that they added. People were very upset about this, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill, you know the drama, hashtag Heroes Niantic. We did a podcast about this in the summer. If you haven't listened to that podcast, I will link that in the description down below. And it's also on my uh, YouTube channel, obviously. So you can find it there as well. But I was thinking that that would have a big, big backlash for Niantic and for the game in general. Because you see a lot of negativity surrounding the game at that point. Uh, me, for myself, personally speaking, I was pretty, pretty, pretty much not done with the game. But I was having enough of the game at that, at that point. I was definitely not playing as much. Uh, and there was just a very negative vibe to it. Something that I can still experience a little bit today. So I was kind of digging into that, like in terms of statistics again, in terms of numbers. And then I, I came across a lot of data that actually countered this, this thinking of me because I'm going to have, I'm going to list for you guys. So I found this website that listed the average players per month and the revenue per month or the player base per month, not the revenue. I, uh, maybe I saw the revenue as well. But this was about the player base. So June 2021, we had a decline of 2% from the previous month in terms of players. Then July, we had an increase of plus 1%. And then August was the big month. Huh? The big month, everybody boycotting Niantic. Guess what? We had a minus 2% from the, from the previous month. Minus 2% of players. So, you might think that that was a huge impact to the game. Minus 2%. September, when they actually reverted, or they re reverted it in the end of August, the update with the distance, which was the whole drama thing. In September, they went back up plus 1%. And then October, they went up 4%. October is obviously a big month with the Halloween event and all that. People enjoy that. Great Chinese, good spawns, great raid bosses. So the game is going to thrive under those circumstances. So you might think that Pokemon Go is in a, in a downward spiral. You see a lot of YouTubers, influencers slowly getting out of the game as well. So you might be thinking like that's, that's the general trend of the game. You're wrong. You're actually wrong. And I was wrong about this myself. I thought that this was going to be like a downward spiral from from the summer on to now but it's not we actually had a small dip but the game is already starting to recover it's already recovered so i'm going to throw something crazy at you right now so after all these things and after you might be thinking that the game is going in the wrong direction in october 2020 which is last year in October, we had about 68 million players within the month of October. In 2021, which is this year, which is the so-called negative spiral of the game, the game is going nowhere, the game is going into the ground. In October 2021, we had 73 million, over 73 million, almost 73 and a quarter million players in the month that is a huge increase from last year october 2021 had the highest players since june 2020 which is the month where go fest takes place and it was only a sliver like the difference was very marginal so that's a lot of data that I looked at. I did a lot of research and I'm not sure how accurate these numbers are, but they must be somewhat accurate. These are not related to like Niantic publishing name, I think, at least. You might think like Niantic is just doing some funny business with the numbers, making it look like the game isn't in a worse state. I don't think that that is the case. These were not websites related to Niantic or any way, at least from my understanding. So they could not have fumbled with these numbers. So I'm assuming that this is actually correct data, somewhat correct. It might be off. 
by some numbers, but not like a huge amount, I would think. And then the final stat that I've got written down here is in the first half of 2021, Niantic recorded a plus 34% income in comparison with the first half of the year in 2020. 34% increase. Like these numbers are absolutely mind blowing. If you look into the numbers, the statistics, the revenue, the downloads, the player base, Pokemon Go is in a very good place, guys. Pokemon Go is actually in a very good place. Like as much as I thought that the game was going downwards and in a downward spiral, negative spiral, turns out it's not. It's just the older players potentially like the the older the long-term players who have a problem with the direction of the game perhaps and have been fed up with the game maybe hashtag heroes niantic was the breaking point for a lot of those people a lot of people got out of the game but at the same time i'm i'm sorry but i don't think niantic gives anything about that because the game is actually thriving the game's actually on the rise Still rising, steady numbers, steady increase. So is Pokemon Go going to suffer the same fate as Harry Potter? Yes, potentially, as I mentioned at the start of the video. But that yes, eventually, could be like 10 to 15 years down the line. And it's definitely not going to happen anytime soon, guys. It's not going to happen anytime soon. And definitely with these numbers that they are recording, this revenue, these downloads, these player races... The game is not going anywhere, so you can sleep tight. There's nothing going on in the world of Pokemon Go. There, the game's actually not even doing as bad as it looks or that people might suggest or think the game's actually, believe it or not, still on a rise. And with that, we're going to wrap it up. Leave a like and a comment down below what you thought about this fluffing reveal of statistics. Like, we've got a lot of statistics written down here on the Pikachu Notepad. <clears throat> and we're gonna get the fluff out of here i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one bye bye guys